In a meeting conveyed by Kenya Women Parliamentary Association, women candidates contesting different political seats in Garissa County have raised concern of the maltreatment of women in the area. Our community, we need to be focused on the election day. Uh, we need to stop, by, by, uh, we need uh, to have no violations. Uh, no, we, no we, we don't need uh, incitements. Uh, we work under clanism. People need to be educated and to move forward on, elec uh, on election day to have the right uh, leader. Everyone has a leader in heart. Please go there peacefully, make your choice and leave the polling station. About this election, some of us, we don't have money to go and uh, uh, do uh, maybe our materials and all that. We just wanted to be the good leader for our people. Uh, we don't have money uh, here and now to give uh, to the, uh, the, the elders. So what I'm saying is, please, uh, we need support. Uh, we need uh, government to support women like us, to stand with us. Uh, uh, and uh, to give us uh, materials and uh, everything that we need. Northeastern region practices negotiated democracy, which is often at times blamed for leaving out the women and the youth. This in turn leads to fewer women making it into politics. There is this uh, negotiated democracy at the clan level, and uh, there is also this uh, main, main resistance of women being leaders whereby whether you have an experience or whether you have an education well educated he will not be favored because of uh, because of the male system and uh, the other thing is that uh, uh, men normally believe that women cannot contest for other seats which they say uh, and they have even told me uh, to go and contest for member of uh, women, women, women rep, women rep positions, because I'm a woman. If I go for that seat, they will be with me in solidarity rather than uh, the member of county assembly. Negotiated democracy is not so much of a very bad. It's not a very bad thing, but perhaps sometimes it is also it also leads to uh, pointing or picking of leaders who may not be the best leaders through that process of negotiated democracy. So what we are saying is that. The communities of uh, living within Garissa County, even if negotiated democracy is one of the forms of deciding the structure and form of leadership within the county, we are asking those leaders, those elders, cultural elders, religious leaders within the county to also provide opportunities for women, even within that structure of negotiated democracy, uh, so that even as they negotiate the, for these positions, uh, both elective and appointed positions, that they also allocate a few positions for women. So I think there is hope. Despite the retrogressive cultural practices, Kewopa has assured the woman that it will continue advocating for more women in positions of leadership. Having interacted with many of these aspiring women leaders, uh, we are convinced that Garissa County is ready now for women in leadership positions. We are also even more convinced that the women in Garissa County are also ready to take up these leadership positions. Many of them are enlightened, many are inspired, many are very, very much committed to uh, serving the people in various capacities, in the capacities of women rep, in the capacities of MP, in the capacities of MCS. And even if we don't have female MCS contesting at this time, we are hopeful and we have had fruitful discussions to ensure that the community members from various parts of this county continue mentoring and preparing their young girls and women to start presenting themselves, offering themselves for, the, for these positions uh, in preparation for them uh, taking up these positions in future. In the last general election, northeastern counties produced only one woman for the Member of Parliament position.